Welcome to this restorative yoga practice without props. You may choose to use a mat or a blanket underneath you for padding or cushion, but this practice requires no props at all. You're also welcome to bring in any other props you might like to use to support the body so you can experience as much ease and comfort during our practice today. We'll begin with constructive rest. So I might invite you to swing both legs to one side and rest on one hip if that feels comfortable. And then perhaps walking yourself down to the side and then when you feel ready, rolling to your back. This can be a really comfortable, easy transition between seated and lying down. We'll begin by bringing the feet pretty wide, maybe shoulder width or a little wider. The knees are bent and the feet are grounded. And allow the knees to gently fall in toward each other so they feel supported and easy. If you're experiencing some stretch or discomfort, you might try walking your feet a little closer or further away from each other. And also the heels a little closer to the body or a little further away from the body until you find a place where your legs and lower body feel really comfortable and easy. You might pick up the pelvis and adjust so the low back feels comfortable lengthened. Perhaps tuck the shoulder blades underneath you and center your head so your neck feels long. You might choose to roll your palms up toward the sky if that feels good. And if it's accessible and comfortable, you might also bring your arms to a T-shape out from the body and then bend the elbows to about 90 degrees or toward 90 degrees today into a cactus arm shape. And from here, perhaps taking a few deep breaths, scanning the body for any areas of discomfort. I'll set our first restorative pose timer. We'll be here for about 10 minutes. As you take a few deep breaths, Again, just noticing the sensations of the body, and perhaps noting if there are ways you might adjust so you can experience a greater sense of ease and release in this pose. If you're finding you're not able to find comfort, I'll invite you to roll to one side and press yourself up to a seat. feels comfortable, you might allow the eyes to gently blink closed. If it is at all possible, perhaps allowing the jaw to soften a little, the tongue to soften, the shoulders to soften away from the ears. sensing into as much ease and release as you can, as is possible in any given moment. I'll be silent for just a few more minutes. And when you hear my voice again, I'll be inviting you to check in with the breath and the body.
invite you to come back to the breath and body. If you found you've been carried away on a thought or memory, perhaps using the breath to scan the body today. And noticing if there are any areas you might adjust to find a greater sense of comfort and ease. perhaps adjusting the distance between your feet, the distance between your heels and your body, perhaps adjusting the pelvis or the shoulders, the arm position, be silent once again for just a few more minutes and when you hear my voice again we'll be transitioning to our second pose
let's begin to draw some deeper inhales and exhales into the body. Maybe bringing some gentle movement into your fingers and toes. And if your eyes are closed, you might blink them open. As we begin to transition to a side-lying position, just as easy and comfortable as you can be as you transition to that side-lying place. And just take a couple of breaths here. And just as easy and supportive as you can be, I'll invite you to roll to your belly to a prone position here. Rolling over to the belly. And maybe layering the hands or the forearms to allow the forehead to rest down or perhaps even the cheek or side of the face. And then I'll invite you to bend your right knee. Bending your right knee. So rather than a stretch here, we're looking for a comfortable position with the right knee bent and the foot coming in toward the leg. And if you're not finding a comfortable position here, feel free to keep both legs long. We'll be here in this position for about five minutes on the right side. And we'll transition to second side after that. As we move into this hold, I'll invite you to use the breath to just bring some comfort and ease into the body as best you can. And notice if there are any adjustments you can make to become that much more comfortable in this supported prone tree pose. Be quiet for just a few more minutes. And when you hear my voice again, we'll be transitioning to our second side.
invite you to take a few deep breaths here. And very gently begin to lengthen your right leg long if it was bent. And begin to transition to our second side. Perhaps a rolling to lie on the other cheek or side of the face. And then gently beginning to bend your left knee. Again, the goal isn't really to have a stretch here, but to find as much comfort and ease in this position as we can. So bending the knee as far as feels comfortable, maybe allowing the left toes to point back toward the leg. And we'll be here on our second side again for about five minutes. As you begin your hold here, you might use the breath once again to scan the body and notice if there are some places that you might adjust so you can become more comfortable and more at ease in this pose. Using the breath to find greater ease and relaxation here as best you can. as is possible in any moment. I'll be quiet to allow you to find some stillness and rest. voice again. We'll be transitioning to our third pose today.
you might begin to draw some deeper inhales and exhales into the body. And gently begin to stretch the left leg long, transitioning out of this pose. And once again, perhaps lengthening and rolling to one side as a transition between poses, maybe bending the knees gently for a little support. Our third and final pose is our traditional relaxation pose. And if you have a wall available and accessible, or even the back of a door, I'll also offer a legs up the wall pose variation. Now our traditional Shavasana is on our back, so I'll invite you to roll to your back here and stretch the arms and legs long if that feels comfortable. Find some space between the arms and the body and between the legs. And gently adjust the pelvis so the low back feels lengthened and comfortable. Tuck your shoulder blades underneath you so your neck feels long and your head feels centered. And if it feels comfortable, perhaps blinking the eyes close, rolling the palms skyward. If you're wearing glasses, or it would, and it would feel more comfortable to remove your glasses, feel free to do so. Sometimes it can feel good to drape one or two arms over the eyes. To feel a little more easy release. And softness through that part of the body. If you have a wall or even a back of a door accessible and you'd like to try a legs up the wall pose variation, you might scoot one hip close to the wall and then rotate your glutes toward the wall as you walk your legs up the wall at the same time. And the goal here is rather than a stretch is to allow the legs to be really deeply supported. So find a Shavasana or relaxation pose that's going to feel really good for your body. Easy, supportive. We'll be here for a few more minutes. And when you hear my voice again, I'll be checking in with you.
if you've noticed that you've been carried away with a thought or a memory, a feeling, you might choose to come back, gently guiding your attention to the breath and the body. Using the breath to scan the body and notice if there are any adjustments, changes you can make to become more restful and more easy in this final pose of our practice today. Perhaps adjusting the pelvis so the low back feels more lengthened. Or maybe removing or putting on eyeglasses. Perhaps draping an arm or two across the eyes to provide a greater sense of ease. I'll be quiet for a few more minutes to allow you to seek some more rest and ease. And when you hear my voice again, we will be closing our practice today. If it feels comfortable, you might bring some gentle movement into fingers and toes, perhaps drawing in some deeper inhales and exhales. You might choose to bend the knees and plant the feet grounded on the mat. 
maybe stretch the arms overhead as high as feels comfortable. And then if it feels good, you could roll to one side in a supported side lying position for just a breath or two. Feeling nurtured and easy here as best you can. If your eyes are closed, you might gently begin to blink the eyelids open. And using your arms for some support, gently pressing yourself up to a seat on one hip here. And then coming to a even tall seat perhaps cross-legged or legs could be long in front of you. Feeling some length in the spine here, softness in the shoulders. We'll close our practice with a few deep breaths and inhale breath here and exhale and a sigh out. Two more breaths, inhale, exhale. Perhaps one more breath, inhale breath. And exhale, we'll letting go. Thank you for taking time today to practice restorative yoga, to bring ease and relaxation.